Hello and welcome to Wild Country Adventures. In this video, I'll be replacing the rear window in my Sentry truck cap using a quarter inch thick piece of optics acrylic sheeting. I'll be reusing all of the hardware with the exception of the bolts, but down the road I'll probably replace the struts as the stock struts are rated for 45 pounds and the acrylic sheeting doesn't weigh near that. However, the optics sheeting is slightly bendable, and if I had to do this project over again, I'd probably go with something a little more durable. Now, local shops wanted nearly $500 to replace the window, so I went with the cheaper option and used the optics acrylic sheeting to make the window, as total cost for this project came in at around $135. With that said, let's make a window. First, I'll start by cutting out a cardboard template of the rear window which I'll use as a guide to draw the lines before cutting. I'm using a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade to cut out the shape of the window. I decided to go with the metal blade versus a wood blade as the metal cutting blade not only has more teeth but the teeth are finer and shouldn't damage the acrylic sheeting. I also use duct tape where I'm going to cut just to protect the acrylic. With the window cut out, I'm going to file down the edges to shape them, and then I'll do a bit of quick sanding just to clean up any rough spots. After that, I'm going to line the window up on the back of the cap just to make sure it fits properly. While I have the window up on the cap, I'm going to mark the holes I need to drill to attach the window to the hinges. With the holes marked, I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit and drill out the holes for the hinges. Once the holes are drilled, I'm going to attach the window to the hinges so I can make sure the window opens properly and I have the proper clearance. I'm then going to clamp the window to the bottom rail and mark where I need to drill for the mounting bolts and the area I'll need to cut out for the handle. After that, I remove the window and start drilling the holes for the mounting bolts and cut the hole for the handle. Now, I want to make sure to cut the handle area a little too small so I can file it out for an exact fit. This is something I want to take my time with as the handle is kept in place by the shape of the hole. Perfect fit. With that done, I'm going to clean the bottom portion of the bottom rail with isopropyl alcohol and add a strip of flex tape just to help keep the rain out of the bed of the truck. Now, 
With the flex tape applied, I just need to cut out the areas for the mounting bolts and attach the bottom rail to the truck cap using the rotary latches. Next, I'm going to reinstall the window so I can make sure all the holes line up and then mark where I need to drill to install the strut mounts. Then I'll remove the window one last time and drill the holes for the mounts. Okay, with the holes lined up and drilled out, I'm going to remove the protective sheet from the inside portion of the window and add a layer of tint. To tint the window, I'm just using a 5% tint I purchased at Walmart. I'm going to start by cutting the film so it's a little larger than the window. I'll then spray a layer of water over the window and pull off the inside sheeting to expose the glue side. I'll continue to spray the film with water to keep the tent from sticking together and activate the glue. Once the inside film is removed, I want to spray a layer of water over the top so the squeegee can easily slide over the surface to push out the air bubbles and excess water. Then I just need to trim the tent to the edge of the window and cut out the areas I drilled and cut. With the tent done, I'm now going to lightly paint the outer edges of the inside of the window, which will help hide the hardware from the outside of the cap. And now it's time to attach the window. First, I'm going to attach the bottom rail to the cap using the latches to hold it in place. I'm then going to bolt the window to the hinges, but I'm only going to lightly hand tighten the bolts until all the bolts are in place and the window is lined up. With that done, I'm ready to tighten the bolts. I want to be sure I don't over tighten the bolts as the acrylic sheet may crack under too much pressure. Now I'm going to install the mounting ball for the struts and clip the struts into place. After that, I can remove the protective sheet from the outside of the window.
Then I'll do a final trim to ensure the window is lined up evenly, which will help the window look better and help the latches secure the window easier. Lastly, I'm going to add an edge trim seal around the outer edge of the window. Now this is more for the aesthetics of it, but it'll also offer a little extra protection along the outer edge of the window. So there you have it, a little time consuming but a cheap and easy way to replace your rear window in your truck cap. Thanks for watching and be sure to click the like button. And if you did like the video make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos from Wild Country Adventures.